Boom, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Full Experience Podcast live here in the HKRMA headquarters. This is episode two, and today I have an OG paintballer, now coach of one of the most talked about teams of 2022, Latin Saints. We got Brandon Short in the building, baby. What's up, Brandon? What up, Mr. H? It's nice to be here, even though I do work here. You do. I see you every day, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but now that I'm coaching, there's a reason to be up here. So. That's right. We had to bring him up. So last time you guys probably heard about Short, he was on San Diego Dynasty. He won an actual World Cup. He came back out of retirement. Before we get started into the whole Latin Saints thing, which I've heard a lot about, let's just let's just start talking about how it was being back with the Dynasty Boys and winning World Cup. Sure. So let's just kind of jump into it. And yeah. it actually, it really ties into the Latin Saints because I was going to World Cup originally to coach. Oh, that's right. A Division Two team. Yeah. When you left, you're like, I'm coaching. I'm coaching. I mean, that was the plan. Yeah. So I was coaching a team named MX Dead Legion who is now the Latin Saints. Ah. So the idea was I would go out on weekend one of the World Cup layout drop, practice with Dynasty, learn the field from them, and then apply that to uh, the Division II team, MX Dead Legion. Gotcha. So I practiced with Dynasty. I did not go to the second weekend of practice. And at that practice, Dalton Vanderbilt got hurt. I don't know exactly what happened. Sprained his knee. Long story short, he's out and they need a guy. Yeah. So Yosh calls me up. He's like, I know you're going. If you can jump in with us, jump in. And you uh, only practice one time. Only practice one time in three years. That's insane. Yeah, this is three years, one time practice. This guy's playing on Dynasty again at World Cup. And I was terrible at the first practice, without a <laughs> doubt. Bottom, bottom tier. Uh, so... With our schedules at World Cup, I wasn't even able to play two of the games. I missed two prelim preliminary games. Oh, for Dynasty? For Dynasty. Oh, I didn't even know that because I wasn't out there. Yeah, so I had to basically, my priority was to coach. Right. That's why I was there. And I missed two games. Uh, and I missed the easier of the four. Mm -hmm. So my first game back was against the Ironmen, which went right into overtime. Not only did I get to play the majority of the points, I played the overtime point <laughs> and we won. Um, and unfortunately, the coaching with uh, the MX Dead Legion didn't go well that weekend. And we lost and didn't move on to Sunday, which was perfect in a sense, because now I got to play with Dynasty right. all day Sunday. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, I actually considered going home, though. No, you didn't. I did. What? So I, they I need you. <laughs> it was Saturday. I was pretty bummed out about the coaching thing. Yeah. I knew dynasty was doing just fine. I didn't play that great in the prelims. So I told skinny Kevin, I'm like, Hey, I'm thinking about going home. Uh, my wife's pregnant. I, I think this might, you know, I'm just gonna get out of here. And skinny basically said, fuck you stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Skinny. I mean, it was a good move that skinny said that it was, yeah. it, it was a complete blessing because we played Sunday, rolled right through Sunday, one World Cup, and I got another World Cup victory under my belt. That's insane. And just so everyone knows, well, I know this, a lot of people know this, that you retired last year, though. Was it What, what year did you retire? How many years ago was that? Three years. Three years ago, you crazy. retired with Dynasty, but you guys didn't win. So we won the year before, and then we took maybe sixth place. That, that year that you kind of retired at World Cup. Yep. We lost to Impact. Obviously not the way I wanted to go out. Yeah. But at the time, I felt like it was right. So. Right. But then, you know, this whole thing happens and you got to literally now, are you retired? You're retired from I'm playing done. pro I cannot paintball. go back. Yeah. He's I won. That was yeah, it. He won. So you got to retire on top. So it's got to feel so much better uh, knowing that you're done on a big win like that. For sure. It's kind of funny. One of my best friends, Scott Kemp. Yeah. He returned to paintball to play with Dynasty. Yeah. One World Cup and retired. Yeah. So I was like, man, this guy did it right. Yeah, Skip got to win and you didn't get to win. It was but I thought fun. that was it. I thought that was the end of my story. Uh, but it turns out I got to play World Cup, win, and get one more World Cup win than Scott Kemp. So now. Yeah, eat it, Skip, <laughs> sucker. Shorts so, got you beat again. <laughs> yeah, back on top. That's sick. Okay, so that's good. So you win World Cup with the Dynasty Boys. Um, and now you are the official head coach of the professional team, which is now Latin Saints. Mm -hmm. And the owner is... Diego Santos. Diego and Di Diego Santos. Sorry. Diego Santos. So Diego Santos is coming in and it seems like he's dropping some guac 
and he is really dedicated um, to build a top professional winning team, if, if I have that correct. Well, we'll circle back a little bit to World Cup. So I didn't know exactly what I was getting into. I thought I was just coaching a team. Right. I did not know that these guys had ambitions to buy a pro spot. Right. So it's Friday at World Cup. Uh, Diego's telling me all about how he's going to buy Trade My Gun Outlaws spot. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that was pending was that the Trade My Gun Outlaws didn't get regulated, that they didn't get knocked down. So as soon as we found out that their spot was secured for 2022, mm -hmm. Diego on Friday went right back to the field. They're on the spot, bought the spot. No way. So I was like, this is the real deal. Yeah. Like, this guy is this guy's making moves. This guy is legit. He's making moves. And pretty much from that moment forward, he asked me if I would commit to the next year. And I told him yes. And I think so far it's a good decision. So far it's a definitely a good decision. Um, as we all know, just yesterday, your team, as you, I'm sure you had something to do with, announced that you guys picked up Alex Rodriguez um, from a very high profile team, which he was on. So can you uh, lean more into how you got or what made you guys decide on Alex Rodriguez? And I know you have some Ironman guys as well already locked in too, or sure. ex Ironman guys. Sure. Yeah. We have CeeLo Cortez. Um, CeeLo's definitely come up through the ranks fast. He's an amazing snake player. I never played with him. Don't know him that well, but I'm really looking forward to helping him grow as a player. Yeah. But A-Rod, A-Rod I've known forever. I've played with him on, not only on Dynasty, but on the Ironman. Right. And A-Rod is the type of guy that you want to just take the leash off and just let that guy go. Yeah. So when I was thinking, like, what type of player can thrive in, a, in an environment where the majority of the guys don't have pro experience. Mm. Well, you need somebody who can just take over the game, you know, like a Steph Curry, um, just like a, uh, like a just Tom Brady type player who can come in, impose his will. And the first guy that came to my mind was Alex Rodriguez. Nice. And obviously you have the backing uh, from an amazing owner to kind of get who you want, right? So you're able to make some deals happen with him to make him happy and well, get to the team. I mean, in paintball, uh, deservingly so, the upper echelon guys, they make money playing the sport. Correct. So if you want to grab one of these top guys, you better be willing to pay. Right. Diego is ready to shake things up. He wants to field the best team possible. So he started with getting CeeLo. Silos and then A-Rod. So. Nice. And um, there was a rumor yesterday, and, I, and, and you know, Diego looks like he wants to drop some guac and build a, a, a badass team, and HK Army is going to be a sponsor of these guys head to toe. Right. So we're stoked. Obviously, we have uh, funds now that we're not with Dynasty, so we're thrilled about this to dump some money into this team and build one of the best teams um, in the world with Diego. So I, we heard, and I, I know you, you can't say too much, but there's rumor that Alex Goldman may be joining the team. This is one of the best, if not the best snake player in the entire world. This is just rumor. And I actually have him coming on in a, in a couple days, um, which we can find out more. Is there anything, tr is there any truth to this? So when you have a player like mouse, Alex Goldman, you know he's top five on any given day. Top five. Top five player in the world. Top five player in the world. Absolutely. Maybe number one, maybe number two. It just depends on the day. Yep. If you have a chance to grab a player like that, you do it. Right. Like I said, Diego wants to field the best team. He's got his eyes on the top five players. So Mouse definitely falls in that category. But there are some other guys too. So <coughs> it's the goal of this team to come to that first event in Florida, ready not only to make Sunday, but to win an event. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I hear you. So he, Mouse being top five, Diego's willing to spend some money. So you kind of answered that a little bit for us. Now, whether did Mouse take the deal or is the deal going on, we don't know. I know you can't say too much, but um, I'm just excited that we have another person. You know, there's like Sarge with Houston Heat. There's Bart with Impact, and now there's Diego with Latin Saints. Right. Like, there's some big money guys willing to make the best teams in the world. I, th I think this shakes stuff up, so it's not just Impact. It's not just Heat. I like that there's another team in here for sure. who's going to shake some stuff up for 2022. I mean, if you look at Houston Heat and Impact, they have 10 guys from top to bottom who are amazing. Right. Right? So that's 20 guys who are not on other teams, which kind of is cool to watch, but at the same time, all the talent – is just in one area. This spreads things out. Yep. It makes things more competitive. 
more fun. If you're a fan of paintball, this is this is what you want. You want to see a little bit more diversif uh, diversification. You want to see different pro teams. I mean, I'm excited to be a part of it, but I'm also excited from an outside perspective to just you know, see how this works out. So, yeah. And I mean, you have years and years and years of experience. You've played with the best Oliver Lang, Marcelo, Ryan. I mean, you play with them all. So I'm excited to see what you can do coaching wise with uh, this group, of, this new group of guys um, together. Also, I know that the schedule just got announced. Latin Saints are in the same division as Dynasty. Does that, like, and you were just with Dynasty. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for this one. Obviously Dynasty left us. Um, it wasn't, you know, it was a decision that they made. Um, these guys are getting older and they need more money. So they had to do, some, they had to do what they had to do. But you know, we we're, we're all in with you guys in the Latin Saints, but I'm excited for you because you were just playing World Cup with them and now you're battling them with this new team. How are you feeling coming into the first event playing against Dynasty? I don't care what sport it is. You, it always is where, you know, the player leaves the team yeah. or, you know, there's a separation that they always play each other right away. <laughs> yeah. right? So like, this is no different. Uh, I was in the coaches meeting already where they drew the names uh -huh. and literally not only was it, it was the first thing that was drawn. It was dynasty versus. Dynasty. <laughs> I was like, of course. And then I called Ryan afterwards. And what did he say? Well, I, I mean, I told him the truth that, you know, they're old and washed up. <laughs> That's a, right here first, baby. that's a W. That's a W. That one's easy, but yep. we got to worry about Revo, X Factor for sure. The boys of Land State's going to lay the smack down on Dynasty Boys. You heard it here first live at HK Army. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I know you do have a flight that you're taking off to Arizona. I know you have two little baby twins on the way. Are they boys or girls for the people at home? All right. So yesterday we confirmed we got two massive, powerful third legs coming for us. So we got two boys. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Brandon Short, twins. Off the break, yeah. off the hot has twins. One and shot, two kills. One shot, two kills. Uh, so that's two boys. Are you going to let them play some paintball? I think so. Yeah. I definitely want to get them into uh, sports that can generate a lot of money. But hey, if Diego's still around. Yeah, yeah. Be, Diego, if you're listening to this, we need to get money. these two kids on payroll. Stop. They'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. What else do you got going? I know that uh, you've been running a lot. So I've been running. It's like my new passion. Ever since I stopped playing paintball, I still had to find an outlet to basic to work out. Uh, I've been running with you. Yeah, tell you, people what happened in San Francisco when you tried to battle me. So me and Marky <laughs> went to, to San Francisco to run a marathon, 26.2 miles. Yep. Completely underestimated the hills of San Francisco. It's insane, wild. I was eaten and spit out alive. That place, <laughs> it got me good. But I finished, Marky did beat me on that one. Yep. He is like three feet taller than me. Yep. Uh, but I'm not giving up coming back i mean that's just like paintball like yeah your first tournament you you get bunkered you, you that was short's already 100 times better we, we ran what a half marathon in uh long beach and short was like looked like he was about dead when he came to the finish line now he's doing the full marathons that's crushing right. it and then uh you have hb coming up another marathon so short's putting in work on the runs dude it's crazy i would love to run 50 miles but that seems crazy that's that's too much dude. i don't even know how to come 26 is already too much <laughs> i can't do 26 so i don't know why i'm trying to do 50. <laughs> Okay, well, we were going to just keep it short and sweet today because I know you got to get on an airplane, and that was good info. The Latin Saints, new coach, giving you the ones and twos about 2022. Is there anything else you want to let the guys know at home before you jump on a plane right now about the Latin Saints, about anything we may have missed? Uh, it's going to be a fun year. Everyone needs to watch, and remember to always buy HK. Remember that, too. And for sponsorship, guys, I'm going to throw this in here. Teams at HKRMY.com. Brandon Short is also – the lead for sponsorship here. So if you if you do have a team and you want to be sponsored by HK Army, That's hit up Brandon Short. Teams full-time full coach, soon to be dad, marathon runner. I also do a little bit of sponsorship stuff at HK, just a tiny bit. He does a little bit of work. Brandon Fort wishes he'd do more, but we're working on it here. So you know we're trying. So teams at HKArmy.com. If you do need some HK Army gear and we can get your team laced up head to toe, custom jerseys, custom shirts, anything like that. Custom underwear. Custom underwear. We got you, man. <laughs> just kidding. But, but we got we gotta let Short go today because he does have a plane fight. This was a little bit shorter one, but we will have have Alex Goldman on next, and we're going to really get to the bottom of this shorty. Keep, keep me posted. <laughs> All right, let's go. This is Mr. H reporting out with the coach of Latin States, Brandon Short. See you guys later. Woo!